So, this is going to be a little different from my normal audios. I'm just going to come out and say it. There's going to be no role play. Uh, in fact, <laughs> I'm not even going to adopt an accent. Y'all are just going to put up with me. And uh, first off, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for all the support everyone's shown coming out of my shell and starting to move on with my life after so long of just not moving forward and all that. I've struggled with depression and anxiety my entire life. With uh, starting out with child abuse and abuse later on in my life and PTSD in the military and and then uh, well, I guess it all culminated with the Fukushima disaster my mind broke a few times so this we're going to share some time together. I'm here for you since everyone's been here for me. I've got a nice cup of hot chocolate here and and every step of this has just been so much anxiety, but Everyone's kind words have just been keeping me moving forward. Thank you. So, I just want to say, everyone who suffers from depression and anxiety, I understand how you feel as well. You may not have the same trauma in your past, and you may not feel the exact same way, but we can get through it together. I'm here for you as well. So, if you want to go get a drink yourself, maybe a hot cup of cocoa as well, Mm. Or maybe some tea, or... Mm. Maybe some coffee. Maybe a bottle of water. Just pause the video and we'll wait for you. In the meantime, I'm going to... Pause the recording as well, and switch off my filters. I want this to be a little bit more personal. And there we go. Full noise of the room. There's no clipping. There's no compression. Just you and me. And, okay, the, the slight hum is my server. It has my life's work on it. <clears throat> I normally don't sip so loudly, but... Well, this is supposed to be ASMR, right? But, yeah. Everyone has their difficulties in life, and everyone's difficulties are equal. 
No one's struggles are any less than anyone else's. And no one should belittle anyone for any reason. It's not a contest in life. You should never compare your success to anyone else's. And failure means that you tried. So, even if you fail a thousand times, you still succeeded in trying. So just get back up again until you succeed. Because you've got this. I believe in you. This is your life. And you know, one thing that I've learned over my years is that just sitting back and letting life pass you by, it's easy enough, but it's not nearly as fun as actually giving at least 10% effort anything worth doing you don't have to give a hundred percent if you don't have the energy or the willpower in you because of depression or anxiety don't worry about it at least do what you need to do to get by give ten percent fifteen percent five percent whatever you can it's okay. Do what you need to. Do what you can. I know what that's like. If you, I mean, struggling with depression day by day, it drains you. And if you don't have the energy to cook a proper meal, just at least eat something. If it's tasty enough, or if you have the energy only to make a hot cup of cocoa, then that's all you've got it for. And if you have too much anxiety to go to the grocery store, or to call a friend, at least get on the internet and look at some YouTube videos or something because that's what the internet's for, isn't it? And grocery pickup now, most places have that. Anything worth doing is worth at least 10% effort. You've got this. I believe in you. And you've got me, right? We've got each other. None of us are alone in this world. It may feel like it at times, but with eight billion of us on this little planet. There's just, there's just no way that we're alone. We've got so many friends and family and loved ones and it's just so many people care about you. You just have to Look at your front door. When I was stationed in Japan, during the earthquake, and then the tsunamis, 
all that water rushing in and boats and cars and people being washed away like debris just I still have nightmares about it but then afterwards the people coming together and helping each other trying to recover being patient with everyone and just generally being wonderful to each other the disaster itself was one of the most horrific things I had ever experienced but on the flip side the aftermath the recovery itself was also one of the most beautiful things I had ever seen. The kindness and the sharing, it was just... And the sacrifices of people to shut down those nuclear reactors. There are some truly good people in this world. And there are tests of character that you don't know you have until things like that happen. And I believe that every single person listening to this right now would succeed in every one of those tests of character should they happen to you. I believe in you with all of my heart. You are all very good people. You are a very good person. You just need to stand up and move forward a little. You wouldn't betray anyone. I know you wouldn't. You have a good heart and a good soul. There's a part of French philosophy, I don't remember which philosopher stated it, but you all now know me and therefore a real version of me now exists within you. The me that you need me to be just for you. And that version of me will always be there inside of you, watching over you. On the flip side of that, I will always carry a piece of you, a real piece of you, each of you, inside of me. We have touched each other. And because of that, there's no way we can't believe in each other. So let's trust in each other and move forward, okay? Now y'all have a good night, okay? Let's, let's give a little bit more effort and try and Try and get through our 
depressions and anxieties and whatever else mental illness wise we're fighting because we can't let it beat us we gotta get through this thing called life together I want to take a moment to thank all of those people that have helped me in the past month and a half to two months during the time in which I've started my channel. Without your support, aid, and inspiration, I wouldn't be here now. First off, my Patreon supporters like Ore. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Johnny. Alex. Willem. Milkman. Tommy. Edgar. Eric. Caldy W. Taylor. Benny Miss Prime. And Jay, your support helps me continue to produce the wonderful content that I do and inspires me to produce even better content. Also, a lot of very special people that have helped me get started. Freshly brewed Cafefe. Tweaker, D-Fish, Bladed Queen, The Creek System, Waterway the Wordsmith, Off-Brand YouTube, Pebble, The Many YouTubers That Have Inspired Me, my family, several other anonymous supporters, and most importantly, thanks to viewers like you.